I think it's a privilege to be allowed into people's lives. Um, I, there are some people that I've taken care of for over 30 years, and it's interesting and fascinating to, to see the relationship, and we share a lot with each other. We've become friends over many years, and I've been in the forefront of, of rheumatology here at Virginia Mason and, and elsewhere at the University of Washington when I was in private practice. And we've seen dramatic changes, and so now we don't talk about helping people, we talk about putting people in remission and, and controlling the disease and full, maintaining full functionality. Now I have people who show me their trophies from running triathlons, um, and I have uh, people doing you know, uh, mud runs and all that type of stuff that, that were unheard of um, many years ago. Uh, we've got new drugs coming out all the time, not only for rheumatoid arthritis, but for other autoimmune diseases, psoriatic arthritis, spondyloarthropathies, lupus. Um, the technology is finally uh, catching up with us. And nowadays, one of my other hats is to work through the Benaroya Research Institute. And we're doing, s uh, I'm in charge of our registry program, and we're doing some basic science stuff now looking at causes of rheumatoid arthritis. I'm originally a New Yorker, uh, but moved out here in 1978, so I consider myself a Northwesterner. I have a family. I have two uh, uh, grown children. I moved out here because I would much rather be climbing a mountain or kayaking than uh, listening to the chaos of Manhattan. I like to fix things. you know. Uh, that rattle in my car will drive me crazy until I get that thing fixed. And it's the same way with people. You know, I, I need to fix them. I need to make them better. It's just in my gut.